Microdon has the story. Aragon for Elogio Aragon Jr., son of a former UDP minister of the same name, spends his days before November 4th going house to house. He's a career policeman turned politician, and this is his first general election. Still, he's been in the era for some time now as the standard bearer, and he says that presence will count in his favor on election day. Since the Prime Minister called the elections, you know, for the foot of um, November here, you know, we've been busy. I've always been busy from day one. From the day I made that commitment to the people of Orange Wakis, I've always been on the ground. Uh, definitely, I've been in all the villages already. I am also right now trying to see if we could finish up with Tong for a third time since I've been here since a year and eight months. Aragon says he will also be helped by the wave of petro caribbean funded infrastructure work leading up to the election. If you visit the villages of the East, you will see great development that has been taking place there. Uh, of course, in, in Orange Walk Tong, uh, if you look behind us right now, you see the, 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 the upgrade, the pavement the paving of Liberty Avenue, and that is a major accomplishment right now. We are going to, this is the first phase of, of um, Liberty Avenue. Uh, we hope to, to, to get that opportunity to continue on the phase two and phase three of this area. And definitely this is only the start of what will come for Orange Walk East. And definitely I do believe that the people of the East are ready for a true leader, a leader that will work, a leader that will have them at heart, a leader that will make a difference in this area. And I do believe that that leader is myself, and I'm asking the people of Orange Walk East to give me that opportunity. As he seeks support from residents of Orange Walk East, house to house, neighborhood to neighborhood, Aragon is also dismissive of his opponent in the race. I don't think there's much to, to say about him. You know, I think um, um, anytime anybody comes out looking for assistance, looking for, for help, uh, looking for, for needs in their villages, in the town, they find me because I'm here 24 hours. I'm here, I have my office open. I'm the only standard bearer with an office open. Not even the PUP representative has his office open. People have only known Mr. Aragon. For the, people. the truth is, though, that Aragon will face a formidable candidate in the PUP's Joshua Carbayo, who is a sitting town councillor and certainly no stranger to politics in the East. Carbayo is looking to take over the seat from sitting PUP representative Marco Tulio Mendes. He says that this daily grind, these long hours of campaigning and meeting the people, is what it's all about. This is actually the best part about politics, you know, when, when you get the chance to come out and engage with your voters. You get this opportunity to sincerely sit down, listen, and most importantly, understand. Understand the way this country has been ill-governed, understand the, the frustration that people are passing through right now, and looking for a way out. This is a time we sit down and we are able to, to have that conversation, that meaningful, meaningful dialogue in which we let our voters know that there is hope. Carbayo is campaigning on a governance platform, one that is being pushed by the People's United Party. We understand that what the people want is, is, is good governance. Definitely what people want is um, true accountability, openness. That's, that's the bottom line, no? openness. I think um, definitely there's nothing, what, what this current government has done is basically try to blind us from all the, the abusive, excessive spending and trying to live in the past, trying to live in a 2008 and right now we are in 2007, 2015. Seven years, going to eight years of neglect. Both candidates are out doing the requisite legwork. Both are battling for their first terms in the big time. One represents the incumbent central government and the other the party which currently controls the division. The East will be one of the places to watch on election day. Mike Rodon for News 5.